Leaders expect more providers to follow suit after first Massachusetts operator announces vaccine mandate, and a new on-shift survey suggests improving perks and communication to boost employee satisfaction. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. More long-term care operators in Massachusetts are expected to start mandated COVID-19 shots for all employees after one of the first major providers in the state announced its own policy for workers this week. Quote, we hope our announcement will be a springboard for others, said Adam Berman, Legacy Life Care's president and chief executive. The Massachusetts-based long-term care provider operates skilled nursing facilities, traditional and memory care, assisted living residences, and independent living across five campuses throughout the state. On Wednesday, officials announced they will require staff to receive a COVID-19 vaccine as a condition of employment, the Boston Globe first reported. The mandate will go into effect once one of the three COVID vaccines re receive full federal approval, which is expected to happen this year. The move came just days after several large hospital systems in the state announced it will require COVID shots for all employees. The Massachusetts Senior Care Association said Legacy is believed to be the state's first long-term care provider to mandate the vaccine, according to the report. Quote, I would anticipate other organizations may follow, Association President and CEO Tara Gregorio said. She also added that her organization is hopeful providers can increase the number of immunized staff through similar efforts. Quote, vaccine hesitancy among our frontline healthcare workers persists, and both an employer and government mandate may be needed to achieve the highest possible vaccine uptake rate to ensure the safety and well being of the Commonwealth's nursing facility residents and staff, she told the news organization. The expected trend comes as more providers nationwide consider staff COVID vaccination requirements. Large long-term care operators in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Ohio have also announced vaccine mandates for staff in a push to boost overall immunization rates. Though many skilled nursing and senior living workers are highly likely to recommend similar employment to their friends, many say that perks such as bonuses, extra time off, and other supports could improve satisfaction with their own jobs, according to a recent survey of skilled nursing and senior living professionals. A strong majority of the 2,800 respondents, 79%, said caring for residents is the most rewarding part of their job. Wages and salary, 11%. A strong relationship with my manager, 8%. And perks and benefits, 4%, filled out the top four answers, according to survey sponsor and human resources technology from OnShift. The survey conducted in the spring of 2021 included a skilled nursing representation of 39%. It asked industry workers how likely they were to recommend their employer or the senior care industry to a friend or a colleague. About 20% chose the highest likelihood on a scale of 1 to 10, while about 25% chose the same option for recommending the senior care industry as a whole. Just under 40% of respondents said they were very satisfied or satisfied with the level of care and support provided to them by their employers, while 29% reported being very dissatisfied or dissatisfied. The survey takers, 73% of them caregivers or nurses, were also asked what work perks they value most, whether or not they are actually currently offered. A full 44% said they enjoy or would like bonus pay when working difficult shifts. 24% would value additional paid time off. 16% want to be paid more frequently or access their wages between paychecks. 12% want tuition assistance and 5% would like childcare assistance. The survey also asked an open-ended question inquiring what would make employees' job more satisfying in an effort to help guide providers as they grapple with ways to recruit and retain employees during a national shortage of frontline staff. 
In addition, 29% of respondents said they would value a rewards and recognition program for contributions at work. Another 25% wanted a more flexible work schedule, and 16% would like complimentary meals. Smaller percentages also endorsed the ideas of health and wellness services, additional technology, life or disability insurance, and mental health services. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.